Are you having trouble getting your engravings dark on certain kinds of wood? Well, today we're testing some methods on plywood and various hardwoods. The results may surprise you. So I've watched a few videos about folks using borax to make their engravings darker. I'm not that impressed with the light brown you get when you engrave Baltic birch plywood. And I have some trouble with certain hardwoods also. So our goal today is to solve that problem. We're going to be coating the wood with a borax and water mixture. And because it was on the shelf right next to it, I'm testing OxyClean too. I've never seen anyone try it before, but the borax was a little hard to find locally, so I thought, hey, having a backup would be handy if I can't get the borax. So I'm going to start out with borax, and I'm going to test applying it two different ways. One from a spray bottle, and the other one brushed on. The recipe is one part borax to 10 parts water. I mix the OxyClean the same way. I know I look like a Cajun cooking show adding hot sauce to the dish. It's not an exact measurement, but it's good enough for our purposes today. It does help to mix it in boiling water. The powder breaks down and blends so much better. I've tried it in the past by just throwing the ingredients in a bottle and shaking it up, but my results were not that great. So if you get an old pan and heat some water up, Gosh, I really need to sneak my wife's good pan back into the kitchen when she's not looking. Maybe she won't watch this video. Well, anyway, so we're ready to throw it inside a smog. That's what we named our laser. Here's the board now that it's dry. You will notice it's colored the wood somewhat. So as we laser this, every engraving has the same settings, which in our case on the 80 watt laser is 400 in 450 inches per minute and power at 35%. So the first bonehead thing that I did was I had my weights too close to the work area and the laser hit it. So I started over, but that's the reason for the weird marks in the engraving below the H. So in our test, we're doing fills, 300 dots per inch and vectors or line drawings. I did not test cutting anything out because these methods really won't affect that. Okay, well the first test is done and I did what I always do on plywood. I hit it with a little alcohol. Big mistake. When the engraving is a light brown, the stuff that lands on top of the board is lighter. But when it's black like this, it just smeared into the grain. It's a mess. So I took it over the sanding table to clean it up. They would have cleaned up nicer had I not already stained the wood with alcohol. This is why you test things, folks. As you can see from the results looking left to right, the bare board gave us what we would expect, a nice clean light brown engraving. The brushed on borax smeared a lot more. The sprayed on borax looked the best of all four, and the OxyClean, while it did okay on the engrave, it really dyed the wood a weird color uh, where it was applied. So probably won't be doing any more OxyClean, but hey, it was fun to try. So let's try some hardwoods next. This time we're only going to spray on borax and test it with and without the treatment on various hardwoods. Now you can see we're starting out with Honduran rosewood, sinker mahogany, spalted maple, and some cherry. So here we go, the same test method as before. Engrave a treated and an untreated area. First on the rosewood. Next we go after the spalted maple. Man, what a difference it is on it. Now on to mahogany. Man, the borax sure did stain the wood. Honestly, it doesn't look like it helps with mahogany at all, and it turns it red. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I threw in one more piece. I found some western cedar at the last minute. So, as you can see, the engrave is definitely darker on it. The spalted maple on the fill area is engraved much darker. In fact, I should reduce the power on that wood by looking at the results. The rosewood was about the same. It makes the fills darker for sure. Line drawings, not so much. The cherry looks good either way, but the treated area does make the lettering that is filled in darker. So my conclusion, well, the borax method does indeed work well on some materials. OxyClean, not so much. I might wrap that up for Christmas for the wife because I really don't have a use for it in the shop. Maybe I'll take her pan back at the same time. I think it's a total game changer on lighter colored woods for sure. What's been your experiences? Have you tried other treatments? Drop a comment below and share what you've experienced. And if we've earned it, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. We have a ton more to share on lasering CNC and other woodworking projects. Thanks for watching.